welcome to my classroom. I'm Everett, Everett's Word Colors, and today I'm going to talk about a composition method. I'm going to take a photograph and I'm going to make some changes to it and show you how I can use that to do a painting down the road. So let me take you over to my drawing board. This is the photograph that I have. Uh, this is a picture I took uh, a nearby farm, and uh, I love this little location. I took it from an overpass looking down on the farm. But as you can see, uh, there's just a plain background back here and uh, kind of a straight line here for this uh, hedge line. So what I'm gonna do is change those areas to make it into a better picture. So I took a, another photograph that I have that I took from another place and it has a low lying hills and some dark trees. So I cut that off and I'm gonna paste that over top, just above those buildings. Now, isn't that a better looking background than that plain looking sky? I think so. And also with the foreground, I found another picture of a fence line to replace this straight line in this original photograph, replace the straight line. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put in a, a foreground with some fence posts that are uh, different angles and different sizes and shapes. So with those two changes, I have made a difference in my actual painting. Now what I did was I took those changes and I made up a, a sketch. Let me show that to you. You can see here, and I've actually added some more buildings. I've actually added, uh, I moved the silos off there, these little shapes here off to the right. I've added a building here. I've gone over and added another building here and even a, a fourth building over here. That gives me some variety. I don't wanna have just one lone building. I wanna have uh, several buildings up back here. And this also reinforces uh, the impact area, which is probably what's going to happen in the painting. And you can see I, I got the uh, the hills back here in the background ready to go in, and I've added in that fence line that gives me. And that's also a directional path. You can see that that fence line takes you right into the middle ground, which will take you right into the impact area. Okay. Now, what I've done is also I've taken that same photograph now, and I've I took it to the printer and I actually, what I did here was I put it on the printer and I made two versions of it and I did a value study. And what I did was I used a light, a medium, and a dark color. And you can use any color. Here I have to use blue, uh, light blue, medium blue, and a dark blue uh, to create a value study. Now this values will indicate depth in the painting. Now let me show you some results. I went ahead and did this ahead of time. And let me show you what happens. The first one I did was I put a light value in the background with those mountains and low hills here. And then I put a medium value here in the middle ground where the buildings are and trees. And then in the foreground, I put in some dark values. Give me a dark um, a middle value and a light value. But it doesn't really help the impact area very much with this light against the middle value. Okay, so I, I did another value study, same scene, same sketch, and here I put dark in the background against that light middle ground, which is where the impact area will be with the all the elements and, and objects, and then a middle value foreground. And I think this gives a more dynamic, a more entertaining and more interesting composition as far as where the values would lie, a dark, a light, and a medium value. Now this is the value plan I'm going to use next week when I do a painting. I'm gonna paint the same scene, and I'm actually gonna do a painting using this uh, uh, value study. So that was an interesting exercise on using several pictures to come up with a better composition and a final 
uh, drawing, uh, which I'm going to use next week to do an actual painting. So uh, I'll see you next week. So tune in. And uh, if you have questions, we can do a, a, a art talk down the road and we can uh, be able to chat back and forth uh, and maybe help you with some of your paintings. Take this idea of a picture that you may have taken and find some other elements that can be implemented and try yourself to improve your paintings or improve your pictures. I think you'll find that interesting.